today at Top Jeu, I'm gonna show you how to play Memo. It's a game for three years and older. It's a memory game with fish, with different outfit, different colors. So I show you how it plays and I tell you what I think right after. So the game Memo 30 Pieces, it's a memory game that contains 30 fish. We have to put them in a grid of six by five, ideally. And each at their turn, each player will turn two fish. Let's say this is the tiger fish. And this is more like a superhero fish. It's not the same fish, so he has to turn them down, face down. Second player, a Chinese fish and a lady fish. And then my turn, a clown fish and a grandpa fish. So right now it's not working. We have to find a pair. A lady fish here with glasses and then a school boy fish maybe. Oh, here you go. So I found the two fish that are similar. I keep them with me and then I can continue to find another pair. A pirate fish and a schoolboy. Okay, I remember. Now it's not my turn anymore. It's the other player turn. Here is the schoolboy. Here is a schoolboy. So good for me. I keep it. Let's continue. That looks like a cow fish. Very funny. Hmm. And a mermaid fish. No. Etc. So the game finished when all the fish are gone and the one that has the most fish in their hand will win the game. So what I think about Memo, it's a it's a great memory game, like like other memory game. What I really love about this one is the component, the fish are great. And I think that's what is interesting for our very, very young kids. So this is the back of the cards. On the front, we have very nice and different design for the fish. In a sense, it's great to play with. However, it's really difficult. <laughs> I really tried to play with my kids and at one point I was really really discouraged because uh, it's hard to remember and this is the, the problem you really have to focus and see what each fish is wearing this one has a bow or, or, or a necklace or what color of the hair they have etc because the colors are really really similar what we're used to in regular memory games is just when you turn them you have like a frog and a house or you have a, a cat and a tree. So it's easy to say, oh yeah, the tree was here, the cat was here. In this case, it's all fish. Yeah, the fish is here, the fish is here, it's all fish. So you just have to remember, oh yes, the fish with the orange hair is here, the fish with the red bow is here, the fish with the mustache is there. The, and and it's, it becomes more difficult to remember. So what I would recommend is for very young kids, don't use all the pieces, just start very minimal pieces so, so they get used to, to recognize each of the fish separately and then after, grow and add more and more cards. I really love this game for the fact that it, it's a Jekko uh, game with great component. However, I'm going to put you some link to other memory games that you might like. And I see you later. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye.